Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Boy, you guys really like your music. I'm not kidding. Uh, when we reviewed Groove Shark the other day, uh, I was kind of overwhelmed with the amount of email that I got. Uh, people were happy that I shared that resource they'd never heard of before, or maybe they had heard about it and they were happy that I shared it with the rest of the community at live.perillo.com. But about five or six of you sent me a link to playlist.com. And some of you actually sent me your own playlists. Now, a playlist, if you're not already familiar with that term, is a, a, a way for you to organize music um, and then through playlist.com share that organization of music. Say you want to uh, uh, set a playlist uh, with all your favorite music related to video games. You can make a video game playlist, but only the type of video games that were available in the 80s. You can make your 80s video game playlist. I mean, playlists can be anything you want them to be. And the nice thing about playlist.com is not only can you build your playlists for yourself, but then you can send a very simple link on to a friend and they could play your playlist. And that's exactly what I did today. I was playing at least one person's playlist. I just clicked it and I'm like, oh, this is pretty good. And then some of the music got a little raunchy and I was like, yeah, this just isn't for me. And then he started playing country music and then I am out of here. So, you know, everybody's going to have different tastes in music. Certainly, uh, I think uh, this is an evolution uh, in uh, playlists in general. Normally, playlists live on one computer or another, one device or another. Uh, I've never seen a simpler way of building and sharing a music playlist than Playlist.com. Of course, there's a way that you can uh, do it in YouTube. You could uh, you know, start a, a YouTube playlist, send that link on to somebody else. Of course, that's video. This is just audio. Uh, so the library here is really built on audio that is already out on the web, or at least that I know of out on the web. Um, I remember growing up making mixtapes for, well, girlfriends at the time. They never really appreciated, I think, the mixtapes that I made. I put a lot of heart and soul into those mixtapes. I mean, literally, I would uh, uh, have a, a boom box, and I, I would have two tape decks, and in one tape deck, I would have a recording, and in the other tape deck, I'd pop the tape in. Sometimes, and it didn't happen all that often. It happened in the beginning, but I didn't do it uh, over, uh, you know, as time went on. Because I let the music kind of, you know, say what I was what I was feeling. Um, I would talk. I'd do interludes, and I would do sometimes high speed dubbing if I wanted to to go through it quickly. Nowadays, I mean, where's the heart in passing somebody a link? I get I get that. And if you really if you really care for somebody, you will burn them at least a disc. I mean, you can't really make a tape for somebody anymore. I mean, what are they going to do with it, right? Come on. I mean, even if they still have a cassette player lying around, you, you, you don't send someone a cassette tape. But back then, that's all we had. We didn't have anything else. Nothing. At all. I, I don't even think I had a computer at that time. I think, wait, my parents did. Although I don't think it had a hard drive. Anyway, it was long enough ago uh, that I can see just a, a dramatic difference between this and what I used to do. Uh, at least what I used to do for uh, girlfriends. Anybody else make tapes for significant others? Here's the thing. Uh, out of the years that I gave the tapes out, I received a few in return. I think uh, there was only one, one girlfriend who I thought did an amazing job at, uh, at makes, making a mixtape. She only made me one. She was an internet girlfriend. And uh, it was a good one. I mean, I, I still, when I hear those songs today, I, I think of her. Uh, and that's kind of what it's all about. And I'd imagine that, uh, you know, these days, if, if those ex-girlfriends uh, hear the songs that I put on that mixtape, they'll remember me. So I'm sorry for uh, tripping down, uh, I guess, memory lane, waxing pathetic for a few minutes. But that's the way it used to be. Nowadays, it's a link. I mean, I got no problem with Playlist.com. Not at all. It's just I come from a different era. <laughs> you know, where we used to uh, share music uh, by way of magnetic tape. <sighs> no matter. If you've got an interesting playlist for me to uh, play here at uh, 
live.perillo.com. Pass it along. Build it on playlist.com. Maybe build it on youtube.com. Uh, I played, a, 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 I guess a, it was a Daft Punk mix today on request. Someone sent in an iTunes gift certificate. He sent it to my email address, chris at perillo.com. He said, I request that you play this Daft Punk playlist. I'm like, okay, I'll do just about anything for an iTunes gift certificate. You have my email address. You always have chris at perillo.com. Of course, you also have the name of the website, or at least the website domain name, where you can go to join us in the chat room and watch the live video feed, the Chris Perillo experience, where I promise never to put you through <clears throat> a marathon of making mixtapes. Physical, I mean, it would take a long time. It would long, but it would just, it, I put so much heart and soul. In fact, to this day, sometimes I'll hear a song that I, I put on a mixtape, and then I'll think of the next song that I would have queued up right after that song. It's you, where's where's the heart in a link? Well, we have heart around here. It's just we're kind of geeky. Some of us are a little older than others. That's okay. Uh, I don't know how what the age range is in the chat room right now. We've got about 500 people watching the live video feed, usually about 300 in chat. Um, I am uh, certainly older than 30 and younger than 40, at least this year. So anyway, stop by the chat room. If you're a geek and you'd like to talk tech with the rest of us, we're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.